What's up, y'all? It's me, Tyler, back with another video. Bringing you a little something different today. Hear me out. My entire personality is wellness. Self-love, self-expression, becoming the best version of yourself to attract the best life possible. But that does not mean I don't fall off the wagon sometimes. I am not perfect. And neither are the beautiful people on Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok that you compare yourself to. When you're in an environment that promotes exercising, eating well, and beauty practices, it's easier to practice that too. Right now, I'm currently in an environment that is probably number one in the highest ratings of obesity and depression. While I appreciate the mental challenge, it gets frustrating when I can't find a pre-made healthy salad for lunch. <laughs> On top of using my college degree to work a job that requires more work than it actually pays i do have low moments but guess what i pick myself up and get back on my high horse every time one way or another i've been slacking when it comes to working out and every day i take note of the times i've skipped and sometimes you're just tired spiritually mentally physically or all of the above and that's totally normal which means it's okay. Give yourself grace. But like Kim said, get your fucking ass up and work. <laughs> get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Despite my realistically human moments of feeling down, I have not missed a beat when it comes to my personal grind. I am constantly being creative, investing in myself and taking risks. In other words, I'm taking advantage of my downtime and my slow-paced environment. When it comes to being stoic, I am on the fence of even acknowledging that that really exists. I have emotions because I'm a human being. I do agree with not letting your emotions control you, but you having a grip on your emotions. But holding emotions in and pretending to be just fine has been proven for years that that's not healthy that energy is going to come out one way or another whether it's through an unhealthy hobby or through lashing out at innocent people the world is flawed the internet is flaws draped in diamonds keep in mind that life is full of unavoidable obstacles but think of them as preparations for the good things another thing you are who you surround yourself around and let me say this too you should not be the same person that you were five years ago. It's depressing when I meet people in their late 20s still reliving their high school years. They're the same people telling young people, have fun now because when you get my age, there's no more fun. That is a sad ass way to live. To get the best outcome from this life, travel, meet new people, try new shit. Allow yourself to grow. I mentioned that you should not be the same person that you were five years ago. I am not suggesting to develop an identity crisis. Just to become a better version of yourself. This video isn't long. I just wanted to get on here and just let you know. It's okay if you have emotions. Don't feel like your success depends on how much of a soulless dick you are. Because that's just simply not true. You really have to charge it to the game when you listen to your favorite content creators and motivational speakers. Just take advice from different people and don't feel like you have to become what someone is telling you to become. Peace, y'all.